Hi, I'm Mike Vandersteen, County Supervisor and MC for today's ceremony. I'd like to welcome you all to Sheboygan's Pre-Veterans Day Ceremony and Flyover. First of all, I'd like to introduce some dignitaries who are with us. First of all, Mary, Mayor Terry Van Akron, United States Air Force Recruiter Sergeant Thaddeus Hartwell, Laomong Veterans Group uh, Leader, Wu Yang, Uh, Representative Mike Ensley, <laughs> former Sheriff Mike County, and candidate for Representative <laughs> Bill Lightbaum, State Senator, <laughs> and Ed Prochek, my one of my fellow supervisors. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. At this time, uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, ask you to join me in the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. The colors have already been presented by the Laobang Veterans Unit, so please cross your heart and pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today I'd like to recognize uh, Ron Rowan, a Fond du Lac native, He's a retired Naval Intelligence Officer and Aviation Coordinator. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Ron Rowan worked with uh, various military agencies to arrange for our flyover today. He worked with the Milwaukee Federal Aviation Administration at the Pentagon, the Air Force 115th Fighter Wing, and the 176th Fighter Squadron Operations Officer, Lieutenant Bart Van Roo, to arrange for a four-ship F-16 flyer of the Sheboygan uh, Lakefront and the Lao Mung and American Veterans Memorial. He also is going to have the planes fly over Oostburg Veterans Park and a Fond du Lac location. Ron is participating at the Fond du Lac ceremony and will not be with us today. Today's flyover will serve to thank all veterans, all prisoners of war, those missing in action. November 5th also marks the 30th anniversary of the ultimate sacrifice made by two Wisconsin soldiers of the Madison Base. 467th Medical Detachment Combat Stress Control. Heroes from Wisconsin include Mount Pleasant's Captain Russell Sager and Keel's uh, Sergeant Amy Kruger, who gave their lives during the Fort Hood, Texas massacre that killed 13 on November 15th of 2009. I'd like to remember all 43 of the shooting casualties of the Fort Hood massacre. Staff Sergeant Amy Kruger of Keel was one of those who lost their lives that day. Following the 9-11 terrorist attacks, she was moved to, the, to join the Army because she wanted to help keep America safe. She was proud of her military service and returned to Keele High School to share experiences with current students. Staff Sergeant Kruger had been to Afghanistan previously and had, like other soldiers, were in the ready processing center that day and were about to be deployed again. In his remarks at the Fort Hood Memorial Service, Shortly after the shooting, President Obama shared a story that symbolizes Staff Sergeant Kruger's energy, drive, and determination. He said when her mother told her that she couldn't take out Osama bin Laden by herself, Amy replied, watch me. That spirit was evident to all who knew her in the small Wisconsin town of Keele. The news of Staff Sergeant Kruger's death was met with an outpouring of love and support by her family and friends as well as respect for the service that she gave to our country. On the next Memorial Day following her death, the town unveiled a memorial in her honor that includes the words that meant so much to her, all gave some, some gave all. As we mark this sad day three years later, we remember Staff Sergeant Kruger's and send our thoughts and prayers to her family and loved ones. Next on the agenda are some comments by Mayor Terry Van Akron. Terry. Thank you everyone for being here tonight uh, as early Veterans Day. How many of you are veterans here today? Let's thank all of them for their service. Being a veteran allows us to come and assemble in a place like this today. 
having the freedoms to be able to do this is so important to all of us. Tomorrow being an election day, you veterans are the ones that made that possible, that we are able to go out and elect the government for the people and by the people. So for you again, we thank you. Again, it's a special day today because of the anniversary of uh, our colleagues from Sheboygan County, Amy Krugel, plus the other person from Wisconsin. Uh, let's take a moment of silence for them and their families. Let's remember all the veterans who have died in past wars, but let's also remember the veterans that are serving now. Uh, we have a young man here that's on, on leave from um, the Air Force today. You want to raise your hand? Welcome back to Sheboygan and thank you for serving. But also the, what it takes to serve in the Air, Air Force, Army, Marines, or whatever branch of service, your families, the, the families you leave behind, and the families that have to sacrifice because you're giving up your time and your effort uh, to serve this country. So we're grateful to all the people that have served in the past, but let's also think about the people that are serving not today and maybe in harm's way. So again, thank you for being here tonight. We're looking forward to the Jets hopefully being just under the clouds. <laughs> and uh, thank you for being here on this evening. Thank you very Thanks, much, Mike. Mayor. Next we have with us uh, U.S. Air Force Sergeant Thaddeus Hartlow. Thaddeus. Thank you. Uh, I'm Sergeant Hartlob. I'm the Air Force recruiter from West Bend. Um, I was asked to speak here today, and so I'll just take a few <coughs> minutes. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Ron Rowan and, and Mike for coordinating this event here today, um, allowing us to all come out. Uh, Mr. Mayor, elected officials, for your support, as well as the people of Sheboygan for hosting us here today. Uh, I do appreciate it. And I'd like to also send a thank you to uh, the men and women of the 115th Fighter Wing from Madison for not only providing their jets, but the amount of uh, personnel behind getting those jets here, the pilots flying them, the ground crews working on them. It's no easy feat to get four F-16s to fly over so many different communities, um, and I do appreciate their support. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit kind of about what being a veteran means to me uh, as we approach Veterans Day. Um, Veterans Day isn't just a, a holiday in November for me. It's more of a daily, daily uh, event that happens. Um, every time anyone in uniform uh, gets ready for the day, we always go into it with the mentality of, of what, what we can do to better serve our country and what we can do to serve the people. Um, we all took an oath. Uh, when we started our military career that brought us all into a brotherhood, whether it's Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, we all share that common bond. And that's a common bond that links us all together. It's a bond that only a few people share, but it's a bond to be proud of. With that bond, there's a lot of sacrifices that go into it that people in uniform make. Um, as we mentioned on the anniversary of today, the deaths down in Fort Hood, as well as the uh, family members still alive, having to leave their communities, leave their families, go out of their comfort areas and, and serve their country wherever that may be. Um, because of that, I think one of the greatest things that a, a veteran can get is a thank you. And uh, this is one big thank you I'd like to say. Uh, I think that the veterans are seeing right here today the, the support from the community um, and setting this up and all that. I get, in my job, I get a lot of opportunities to get thank yous from meeting different people through all different walks of life. And it brings a smile to my face, whether it's a student or a teacher or a parent, or even a three-year-old in the grocery store who gives me a salute as I walk by. Uh, I always give a salute back and their smiles go from ear to ear. Um, and that speaks a thousand words to us. It, it, it really does. Um, and it, it, please thank a veteran if you haven't for their service and their sacrifice and their continuing sacrifice. Uh, I wish you all a happy, happy Veterans Day. Thank you. Thank you very much for those comments. <laughs> Next, we uh, like to have some comments from Wu Yang. Please come forward. Well, now we know the rest of the story. Uh, this, even though we say Lao, Hmong, and American, but this is also an American 
memorials, which a lot of people told me that's a Lao Hmong memorial. I said, no, this is a Lao Hmong and American veteran memorial. Because we have those three panels, the U.S. service men that served in Laos, but we didn't know it. Nobody knew it until now. Now we all know that why the Hmong are here because of all the service that they have provided in 30 years ago. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Chairman uh, Mike Winterstein and Mayor and all the city officials, state officials, veterans that using this ground as a very good place for Veterans Day. And we, the Hmong feel very good in the city of Sheboygan. A lot of people told me, why don't you build this in central Wisconsin? And I said, well, it's a good place, but then nobody would go there if it's too far away. Here, nobody would go further than Sheboygan because they would be in the lake. <laughs> so, uh, but this is the right place. And then Mayor Van uh, Akron was very crucial to get this done too. Uh, some 10 years ago that we started this memorial, we knew that's going to be part of a Sheboygan. It is a unique in the U.S. There's no other place that this kind of memorial has been built and recognized the service of the Hmong and Lao and U.S. officials that serve in Laos. And thank you for coming and I think we're going to I'm going to stop myself so we can wait for the plane to come. But I do have some plaque for three people that I want to give it to for Chairman Van der Steens. Thank you. And then for Mayor Van Akrens. And also for. I forget your name. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, how long? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm just happy to be here as a citizen and as a representative of the people of Wisconsin uh, to say thank you and to be a part of this important ceremony today. I think we as citizens of the state can take pride in the fact that we have one of the best offerings of programs and services to help out our veterans and our servicemen and women. When you look at what other states provide, Wisconsin citizens can really take pride in the programs and the services that we offer. And those services and those offers and programs are because we want to show our gratitude and our appreciation for the work that our fellow citizens have done, the men and women who have served in the military, to ensure that the liberties and the freedoms that we all enjoy continue to exist today and are available for many, many generations of our citizens to enjoy. So thank you for your service, for your commitment to our nation, and uh, all our best as we look forward to uh, continued success for the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Representative Ansley, Mike, would you like to say anything? I think Senator Lightbaum covered it pretty much, but I personally would like to just say thank you for your service. We're in great debt to the service that you provide. And too, too, too infrequently do we actually say thank you. So I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all the veterans very much. Thank you. Okay, well that concludes our official ceremony. The uh, flyover is due in about four minutes, so let's face east and see if we can see something through the breaks in the clouds. Thank you very much.